You notice on this page there's a lot of word problems. And I want to stress that in doing math, you have to learn how to read and solve problems. You know, when you go out into the workforce, in the real world, you're going to see a, a lot, a lot of problems that you have to know how to read. Now let's look at this problem. It's number one in your workbook. John had to make 12 deliveries. By noon, John made five deliveries. How many deliveries does he still have to make? So John had to make 12. And by noon, it, he only made five deliveries. So how many more does he have to do? So it's a subtraction problem. So it's 12 minus 5 equals 7. So John had to make seven more deliveries. Now let's look at this next scene and think of all the math that's used to make that tooling. This is a power press. Highly skilled tool and die makers built this die that is stamping out a part every time the press comes down. Think of all the math used to build this tooling. And as you can see, every time a the press comes down, a complete part is made. Two operators stand where the parts come out and put the stamped parts into boxes. If they make 18 boxes of parts and seven are sold, how many boxes of parts are left? The power press makes 18 boxes of parts. And out of those 18 boxes, they sold seven boxes. The question is, how many boxes are left? So that's a subtraction problem. So it's 18 boxes. This is 18. We've got 18 here. And we have, they sold seven boxes. So it's 18. So they made 18 boxes, and they sold seven. So it's 18 minus 7. And 18 minus 7 equals 11. So they have 11 boxes left. Now, as you look at this power press coming down and that die that's in there, you see, I worked once as a tool and die maker, and I also was a tool designer. And on this table here, I just have a few prints. And we use lots and lots of maths, addition, subtraction, and of course, higher mathematics. And you can see, this is just a few, some of the prints, because I also have a machining company that I own beside only a publishing company, and we get hundreds and hundreds of prints. And you have to know how to read. And you have to learn how to solve problems. We're constantly facing math problems and doing the work that we're doing in our shop. Now I want you to notice now, we're going to go back and look at the video again, and notice the intricacy, because I also was this tool designer, and I have to figure how to build that kind of tooling. And notice the parts, some of the tabs have bent up and some of them have bent down. Let's look at this video. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.